Oh, are you, sir? What are you up to? What are you up to at twilight? My, that's my question. Are we sleuthing this set, mate? We're sleuthing. Is that coffee? Oh, wait, hang on a minute. Sorry, I'll back off. I'll back off, a fellow coffee lover. I like it. I feel a kinship with this guy. I don't know what it is. It's coffee, I just said. That's fair. Late night drive with some coffee. Is this me in 50 years? Sorry, that's so silly. I'm being silly. I'm sorry, I apologize. I can't drive. Oh, there it is, the money. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, repercussions of this then, eh? Yeah, go go for a drive, mate, trust me. Oh, or a walk, actually. Well, no, because you need a trunk. Yeah, you'll need a trunk. Bring a bag. Oh, I tell you what, he's he's got first dibs, on he? Keep it, shh, keep it quiet. Well, um, well sorry, I'm being selfish. Share, share, share it out, but keep it quiet, though. <laughs> yes. Oh, Jesse. <laughs> oh, buddy. Thing is, if he gets rid of all this money, he's... What's he got, man? Well, I guess maybe he just find a job, right? <laughs> oh, mate. He is not in a good headspace, is he? Hello, folks, and welcome to another Breaking Bad Friday, the show that happens every single Friday. Until we are finished with it, thank you for joining me. This is episode 10, Buried. Let's see where it takes us. Flaming! A gentle bird. Oh, here we go. Are we gonna... That's the thing. Yeah, we did. We totally ended on a cliffhanger. Ooh, okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Parting words. Fair enough. Oh, oh. I was like, hits, hits the kid. Yeah, okay, okay. He's gonna be like, yeah, okay, so Mike's on to me. He's gonna be investigating me. Let's sort the money out. Let's, uh, surely? I feel like that's what he's... I need you to get Skyler yeah, on the line. Yeah, yeah. What do you What do you mean she won't get off the phone? Oh. Hello. Oh, it's a race. A me yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who is Skyler on the phone with? Oh. Oh, buddy. Because that's kind of going to be a little bit key, I think. Oh. Okay. Right. I feel like this is completely unrelated, though. I, I think it's just trying to, you know, throw us a little bit. Oh no, okay. Oh no, okay. Okay, hey, okay, fair enough. Okay, interesting. Oh, do you know what I mean? This this makes this so much more interesting because obviously all of these things are going around right now. It's like, did he tell her then? Has she got a fake it now? Maybe. My head is spinning. Right, he's, he's spilled the beans. Oh, cancer. Has he told her about the cancer maybe? So much makes sense to me now. Well, you're sending us your kids. Oh, good. No, wait, wait, wait. So he, he was like, so hang on. Is he coming at it from an angle of like, yes, yeah, she knew, but she's, she, she is, she's trapped. She's trapped, maybe. And she, and he sees her as the victim. That would be cool. Cause I said last episode, I was like that. I think he would see it that way. I just don't think he's necessarily going to have the time to process it and see it that way. Do you know? But if it, hey, hey, if, if instantly he does. That's my fault. Not giving Hank enough credit. He's a monster. Right. If he threatened you or what. Oh, bless Hank. Bless Hank. But I want you to know that you can be open with me. Oh, this is a big decision. This is so interesting that they put this in. This is the thing. I do feel like this is the most interesting way that they can do it because this gives Skylar all the autonomy now, right? This is this is giving Skylar the two directions. She can get out. You know what I mean? She's got a get out of jail free card right here. Right here. So now she chooses. I mean, perhaps she's seeing that she can't have what? Do you know what I mean? She can't have that happy family. But is she going to strive for that? Is she going to try and take Hank down? Is she so on Walt's side now that's going to happen? I don't... I, I I find that hard to believe, truthfully. I don't think she's that quite, quite far that over, you know? But yeah, sorry. I think the most interesting thing about this is that he does see it this way. He, 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 he sees it instantly and he's like, I don't know what he did, but like, dude, I'm giving you an out here. Do you know what I mean? And so, yeah, so for the first time in this show almost... Skylar's getting get, getting given the power by someone, real power, to be like, look, come out of this with me. You're going to be okay. Walt Jr. is going to be okay. The family is going to be okay, right? And we'll just go for Walt. So I guess it comes down to, you know, where, where she's at with Walt, I guess. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Her face. This is the thing. This is the thing as well. And I don't know whether it's her choice, like the actor's choice, or whether it was her direction. Uh, maybe the direction, because it's very hard, based on what I saw on her face just then, to kind of say which way she's leaning. But the decision that the writers made to do this gives Skylar as a character the opportunity to choose. And because it's happened this way, you as the audience don't know necessarily how she's going to choose. You know, she's not being forced into something by the scenarios in the show, by the things happening in the show. The show has been like, no, you can do what you want. So because it leaves that mystery open, I'm sat here, well, speculating, I guess I should stop. But 
I'm sat here being like, I honestly don't know what she's going to do. Whereas if, you know, if Hank didn't know or hadn't got to her first, I would kind of know what she was going to do. Do you know what I mean? So it, it just, it, it's a very clever way to, to, to make you keep guessing as the audience. That's all good. Yeah. You're starting now. Yeah, it, it can be. He, he has the power. You're done being his victim. There you go. Oh, is she so cowed by him? This is the thing. Is she so cowed by him that she doesn't trust Hank can do anything? That's the thing. Does Marie? Maybe she's in shell shock. I would ask you to tell me. Wow, official. Just uh, start from the beginning. Ooh. Yeah, this is the thing. Her mind must be racing. All of those things that I was talking about, she must be thinking that, like, which way do I go? Which is safest? How how do I get out of this? Because even if she chooses Hank at this point, and it's like, I, I said, you know, like, hey, there's an opportunity for her to get out. Is there? You know, Walt is who he is. Will he let her? Ah, uh, mm, mm. And she must be thinking that too. Do you know what I mean? She, she knows what he's capable of. And so now, this is the thing. Hank's not giving her time to think this through. And that might make her hold back more than she maybe would or uh, should, right? As detailed as you can. I think on the fly, she's trying to work it out. She's trying to work out where she should, where she should go. Right here? Sure, why not? Well, it's still fresh, you know? Mm, this is the thing. Date your name and, and the date. Hank's doing this though, because he saw how Walt took off. He knows it's a race. That's why he's pushing. We don't, we don't have to do this right now, no. This is the thing, if he suggests going to the station, that'll spook her a little bit as well, I think. Whatever you know, I goes a long, long way here, okay? Yeah, she must be like, how much do I tell him that I do know? We're talking a long haul proposition here, and I don't want that b Dude, up. dude, 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 you are, you are going too hard. You mean running out the clock? It's cancer. Oh, yeah, she didn't know Can't that either. Yeah, more information just added on that pile that she's dealing with right now. The thing last episode we got answered already. Will Hank do it? Will Hank, you know, prosecute? Will he go for it? Even even knowing, even knowing that Walt said the cancer's back and that's, there's our answer. This is the rush. This is why he's rushing as well. Another reason why he's rushing is he wants that conviction and he wants him to serve some time. You know, he wants his name tarnished at least. I got all these little pieces like they're all part of the story right but they don't mean much on their own true would... true what has hank got really there's nothing really connecting walt to it i suppose hank sky is the key to I, that I, yeah i i think maybe but he's pushing too strong with her that's the problem maybe i need a lawyer Ah, and this is the thing, if he came out this the right way, he'd get Skylar. But I think because of the rush and the way that Walt presented it in the, the cancer, and he, he put that rush onto Hank as well, the way that Hank's come at her and just done everything so, like, on the nose here, gets the recording out, right, and all this stuff, and trying to get that offer. And like I say, all this stuff is going on in, in Skylar's head, I think, too, right? She's, she's even even in a even in a comfortable, a warm environment where Hank's not doing this, she'd, she'd have a lot to deal with. And, like, how much do I say? How much do I not? How much do I hold back? What do I say right now? I need to talk to Walt. Oh, do you know what I mean? Like, and, 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 and how do I even know if choosing Walt is the right decision right now? I need a bit of time. Do you know, all this stuff, all this stuff. So on top of that, Hank's doing this and it's just, it's too much. It's too much for Skylar right now. And yeah, absolutely. That's pushing her towards a lawyer. Ah, ah. Do you know what I mean? And when we get this situation right here in the circumstances, we've got it right now because of the events of last episode in that garage and how Walt was. And that is kind of to do with his manipulation. I know we know it's not manipulation because the cancer is back. We've seen that. We have seen that in the show. But Hank doesn't know that. Obviously, all Hank knows is what he knows, and why would he trust what, right? Skyler, I'm your, your, your biggest advocate here, and I'm. I do trust Hank to. You're all good. You need to get out ahead of us. Yeah, I do trust Hank to keep us safe, but like, I do get it from her point of view too. In her position, I'd be like, ah. Uh... It sounds like what you want. Hmm. Yeah. Is to get walked. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay, let's, just, let's slow down. Let's slow down. We need to go get the kids. We need to bring them to my house, so and we need to help each other. Oh man. Now come on, let's go to the house and we can, we'll, we'll deal with it. There. Hank, back away a second. Am I under arrest? Really well done on, on her part, her performance there. The way that she was looking at him, the way her lip was quivering, it's like, like I say, all this stuff that must be going on in her head, coming to her head. And again, he's moving quick. He's, he's still moving quick. As, as much as he said, I'm going to slow down. His actions did something different. He was like, right, let's go. Let's, let's, let's keep going. Let's get the kids. Let's do this. Do you know what I mean? And so it's like, yes, yeah, as much as you said slow down, you didn't, you didn't, mate. She did a great job in relaying that inner turmoil and, and, the, and the panic, I think, in her, on her face there. Am I under arrest? Oh, man. Buddy, yeah, you played it a little, but I understand why he's, he was, he was like that, you know? But dude, ah, a misstep from Hank. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. What about the donkey? No one, no one ever talks about the donkey, do you know what I mean? <laughs> dude. Priorities. Ah, oh, screw it. <laughs> That's the third message. Where the hell is that kid? Yeah, Hank's absolutely picking up Jesse, isn't he? Don't! 
I have to talk to you. You don't have, have to, to find do. out. You answer that thing. phone and Trader's on the other end of the line with a legal wife. You gotta talk to Skylar. Oh, if you isolate Skylar, she's gonna. She just panicked. She went right to him. She just panicked, yeah. Yeah, if Skylar's isolated, she's gonna do something rash, something maybe a little silly. Hank knows. That's not nothing. Can't exactly see him turning the other cheek. Oh, is he gonna try and whack Hank? Where Mike went to. Mm -mm -mm. Hank is family. Wow, okay. Interesting that Walt's saying that. It's an option that has worked very well for you in the recent Jesus. past. What is yeah. wrong with you? My no, sorry. I'm sorry, Walt. No, no, no. You whacked off how many guys in prison, in that prison raid? Like, sorry. Saul was absolutely... Of course Saul would go there. Do you know what I mean? It solves all your problems. It really does. It really, really does. But it's interesting that Walt still sees Hank as... Obviously, he's, he does still see Hank as family, but it's interesting that he's letting that hold him back. But then, I, you know what I mean? I was like, that's weird. But then, yeah, I f I'm forgetting the last few episodes we've had. Obviously, Walter's kind of coming back a little bit over the line, right? He's, he's done the work to kind of get there, I think, internally. And I think that's what's holding him back. So I, my question, I guess, is like, how uh, <laughs> how fast does he get over that? Do you know what I mean? How fast does he go back over the, the line to Heisenberg? Because I think that's, I think, honestly, that's where he's going to go. I think Hank's going to push him there if, if Walt doesn't go there himself, right? So yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting because I don't think there would necessarily have been this reaction. Uh, maybe there would have been, um, it, but if Walt hadn't done the work he's done to come almost back over to the light you know in the way that he has the last few episodes so yeah yeah i mean i can see what going back on that you know and just and getting it done somehow somehow send him to police i'll send you to police don't do, well you can't make those threats mate even joking because like we all know what you've done so <laughs> that's so scary imagine being sat across from me he says that shit to you. it's like don't. close enough nah uh, Hey, talk a little bit. Fab play to him, hey. Just in case I need you. I'm thinking the probability is high. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Buried. He's gonna bury the money. I wonder. Hey, he's gonna bury Hank. Oof. Oof, he's gonna be there a while, mate. Saul Goodman, please. I think the only the only call, mate, is to go in person. This is the thing. This might drive it into Hank's arms because Damn, 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 how much Oh, is is Hank weaponizing Maria? Let me talk ah. to you. This is moving quick. Skyler. Please. Oh, bless her. She has been left all out on her own, essentially, by, by Walt. I think she should tell Marie everything. Although, she, check, maybe check she's not tapped, honestly. Gotta... Yeah. Now help your sister. How long have you known? Hank said that when you walked into the pool, that's when you knew. Ooh. Did, is that what he thinks? But not then. Yeah. Before that. Yeah, she's going to get out of Skyler, I think. And your whole camp. Story. Yeah, the first time she told you that. It's probably a good guess. I think for her, the best thing for her right now is to honestly to go across to Hank. I trust Hank. I trust Marie. They are family. And I think honestly, if she's honest about it, I, I, I think that's the best thing for her. Truthfully, I do. And I think she should. I think she needs to get out of her own head. But I, I can absolutely understand why she's, she's hesitating too. But it's not a lie. It's not a lie for her to be like, yeah, he did. He pressured. He, like, he, he did. He was so abusive. Before Hank was shot. Ooh, did she? I don't remember, you know. Skylar? I did. Really? That early? I am so sorry. Oh, shh. Oh. oh. Oh, that was solid, to be fair to her. Mate, she did that from a sitting position. Dear Lord, that's some force behind it, man. I tell you what, she's got some, she's got some rotation, that. She's taking the babies. Holy sh**. Oh, are we, gonna, are we about to see a fight, mate? Because it's not being funny. Like, Skylar ain't gonna let that happen. Oh, baby. Yeah, she is too. Marie. What are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Oh. She's coming back to me. Marie. Out the window, fair play. Uh-oh. Oh, this is, this is dangerous because like, this is the thing. If Hank comes in now, he's going to have to say, he's going to have to say to Marie, let go of the baby because otherwise they're kidnapping. <laughs> hang on, hang on though. Because right, did, did she know? Did Skylar know before Hank got shot? I was like, Hmm. She did. She did. Sorry. Yes, yeah, she did. She absolutely did. Fair play. No, she did. Because obviously they had the money. Skyler knew that. And then when he got shot, she was like, we can help. Let's give him the money. Yes, she did. Ooh. Oh, come on, though. That's tenuous. I get why there's an emotional response from Marie there because she's connecting it all and whatever. But and I guess in, in a roundabout way, sure. But like even if Skyler had let someone, 
I don't know if we would have avoided that. That's such a tenuous link to Skylar. Do you know what I mean? Skylar's not to blame for that. She really isn't. And even if she told you or told someone or whatever, even if she was in a position to do that, when she wasn't. I get why Marie's acting this way, but I don't think it's justified, truthfully. Having all of the pieces on the board arrayed before me, I don't think it's justified. I truly don't. Not, not, I, I don't think uh, Skylar is like extremely culpable for that. I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure you can draw a line to Skylar, right? And if she'd said something, whatever, but it's just, it's a thin line. It's transparent as f I think Marie needs to just back off Skylar a little bit for that. Yeah, Marie, put her down. Yeah. Hank knows, Hank knows. If you take it. Do it now. Yeah, you can't even, as much as you think it's right, you can't take the baby. This is the thing. This is the important thing as well. Like Hank doesn't have any hard evidence pointing all this Heisenberg to Walter yet. Oh, bless him. Do you know what I mean? He came to Skylar thinking she'd be on his side and as much as I said what I said about that scene before when he was pushing 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 and doing too much he did come from a place of like safety he was coming he was offering a place of safety to Skylar and, and I think it, it was so obviously honest right like he was coming from a place of that and I think he means it and I think honestly if Skylar does go over I think he can he has the power I think he has the power to to give her that too uh, does he though does he though because he was talking about the D DA hmm does he I don't know I do you know what? if you know let me know down in the comments does he have the ultimate power I don't know how much he has as ASAC right would he be overridden by a superior by the da or someone something somewhere down the chain would he be able to give her immunity of some kind i'm really i'm i'm inclined to say yes but i honestly don't know i i don't know you have to get him oh yeah 54 59 21 mm, memorizing it damn all right fair play to him my goodness i would not trust myself to remember that at all what is it gonna be surely there's gonna be something that connects walt to it you know, that's this hard evidence. What's he left? The tents, the tents maybe. And Todd and Lydia. Maybe. Dude, chill out. Okay. She's stuck by your side. Stupidly, I think, personally, but hey, my guy. Whoa, buddy. Oh! My God. oh. What? Jeez, yeah, let's not forget the cancer is back. God, face plants though, my guy. I wonder if the cancer's gonna take him out a little bit, right? This is the thing, I don't know, I feel like it, I feel like it gets better again because like the future that we've seen, he seemed okay, right? And he was driving miles and miles and miles and he was driving and he, and he got to where he went to, he got to where he was going. How are you feeling? Uh, I don't know, I suppose he did, he did manual labor for a good day, right? Today, I, I guess that took it out of him, but. Does it make you happy? Oh. I can't remember the last time I was happy. Yeah. I'll give myself up. Mm. If you promise me one thing. Fair. You'll keep the money. Hmm. What gesture? And there we go. I think I think that's the result of him coming back over, right? He made such an effort to come away because get away from Heisenberg. I think that's this is a result of that. Please don't let me have done all this for nothing. Yeah, there it is. The way Hank talks, he's got his suspicions. But he has no hard proof. Not much else. Yeah. Mm. And maybe she is thinking I can have my cake and eat it, you know? You can't give yourself up without giving up the money. Yeah. And they would never leave her alone if he didn't give her the money. They would always be watching her to the point that she wouldn't be able to ever go get it. Interesting. And I wonder how much of the way that Hank handled it and then Marie handled it pushed her towards Walt. Because I, th I, I, I would say that it, it did. The way that those two handled it absolutely pushed her towards him. I think if Hank had played it right and Marie had played it right there as well, there was a, there was a, there was a chance, you know, that they would have got Skyler over and it would have been all over for, for Walt. Yeah, this is so interesting because it's like all of these situations, if they'd gone any which way, we have a completely different outcome, you know? Interesting that we're seeing this and these guys and the operation, but I guess this is the trail, right? This is the trail Hank needs to find per Perhaps to try and lead to what Walt, but I mean is there enough there of Heisenberg? Is there a connection? I, I, I kind of feel like there there is I don't know what it would be necessarily Lydia would give him up for sure, but I'm an expert on meth labs now Are you gonna tell us how to fix our operation. Oh, so if these guys got the labs, huh? When we're talking about a 50 million dollar shortfall. Ooh. That is a lot, yeah, damn. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's a far cry away, innit, from uh, Gus's setup. Oh, wow, it's just a camper. That's so grim. Now I've seen it. Yeah, this is so grim. No Todd either, okay. Yeah, what do you want me to do? Todd, use Todd again. Right. At least Todd's first two cooks were at 74%. On oh, his third hey. cook, he started a fire. Look. Ah. Hey. We have a problem. 
Mm. Wait, did you do, Lydia? What did she touch on her wrist there? Nothing, maybe, but... Uh. Oh, sh... Oh, sh... <laughs> Damn, hello. Alright, yeah, 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 this is getting messy now. This is the kind of thing that puts Hank on the on the trail, right? Yeah, you okay? Nice. But yeah, they're gonna install Todd again, I guess. Safe to come up whenever you want. Well, job well done, mate, fair enough. Mate, you clearly ordered it. Get yourself out. See. Seriously. Maybe just close your eyes. <laughs> Tell you what, modern problem, modern solution. Ooh, buddy. Man, these guys are cold-blooded. To be fair, we're giving Walt, you know, the accolade. Oh! Ooh, of the prison, right? But it was these guys, really. At the end of the day, Walt just paid them, I guess. I'm kind of like, how long until Lydia gets those boys to take Walt and make him cook? Or something? You have to tell them, Hank. What does he say? Can he, can he actually be honest and be like, just what I have to do. Yeah. He said I need to prove it all. It's just, it's just not here. Right. He doesn't have enough for them to take him seriously. You've got enough to get them to believe your story, at least. Yeah, maybe go to Gomez. I agree, actually. The day I go in with this, it's the last day of my career. Oh. Right. Heisenberg was under his nose that whole time. Yeah. Sorry, we did. We, that did get... You know, I've been chasing the past yeah. year with my own brother-in-law. Yeah, that's... that's damn. Damn. That was mentioned by someone ages ago as well. It's open for me. Oh, bless him. Yeah, this is so personal. He's ruined Hank's career. And then how can we help Skylar? She comes to her senses. Damn, that is a good point. I'll go in there. You gotta have I'm it. I'm bringing proof. Yeah, damn. I can be the man who caught him, at least. Oh man, it's like a last hurrah for him though. If they catch Walt without you, if they find out that you knew and you said nothing. Then he's gone anyway. Hey, quit, you go to jail too. Mm. Oh man, what's his hey, move? Hey, yeah, back. what a situation. Morning. God, the lives, another life that Walt has ruined. You know, he started all this to protect his family, to look after his family. And to extension, Hank is that. And it's funny, in a horrible way, how him going out on this journey, on this path, may just destroy it. All of it. We're seeing that even more here. How you doing? Tell yeah. Gomez. Talk to Gomez. Yeah. See if you could uh, set up a conference call with Raimi. Mm. Did you hear about that money thing? I was gonna say, even if he gets let go of the force, I think Hank goes out on his own. It's like genuinely like lone wolf, you know, away from the law, essentially bounty hunter, going after Walt. What, what money money thing though. Oh, you're gonna love this. It yeah, involves yeah. your old pal Jesse Pinkman. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna bring Jesse in. Okay, see where that leads. That's a good point. Not boring at all. Meh. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, me talking about links, Lydia, talk Jesse, mate. I promise you we can hold out just as long as you can. You got a bladder the size of a hot water bottle. Why would you have to hold it? You can literally go out, surely. Yes, indeed. Yeah, get Hank in there. I'm sure. I wonder if Hank will get in there without the cameras, without, do you know what I mean? A little off record just to be like, I know. Yeah, look at Jesse, I think it could be helpful to me on a, another active investigation. Interesting. These guys clearly don't know about his past with him though, right? But yeah, this is the thing. He just needs like a minute, two minutes with the camera off to be like, I know it's Walt. Help me get him. He says clearly, oh, come on. Will you, ah, oh, he's done it again, man. Oh, I tell you, is this going to be a pattern now? Hmm? Hmm? It's cliffhanger sh All right. Yeah, this is the thing. I think if he does, if he talks to Jesse, because from Hank's perspective, he's like, right, he's tossing money out of the car, just giving money, you know, I feel like for, for anyone, but especially Hank, who, 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 who does have that mind, right? Like he investigates people for a living. He's going to be like, okay, there's something wrong with this kid. He's clearly not in a good place. And I wonder whether he reaches out hand. At the end of the day, Hank's got nothing, right? And I do think that there's enough going on with Walt and Skylar and all that stuff that honestly, his thing with Jesse is so small. It's such small game. Do you know what I mean? So I think from Hank's perspective, he's very much in a position of like, I don't care about that. I'm absolutely focused on Walt right now. And all I need to do, I don't care about Jesse, his, his small game. If I can get Jesse on my side and use him as a link and see, or at least find out what he knows. And then if he knows something, use him as a link to get Walt. I think the best play that Hank's got right now is to be gentle with Jesse and actually try and get him on his side. I wonder if he does that or whether he's just, whether he pushes again. Maybe he's learned his lesson from the diner and like pushing as hard as he did with Skylar and how that drew it, like how, how that pushed her away and how, and I, I really hope I do. 
wow, okay, I, I guess that I want Hank to catch Walt. I don't know if he will. I honestly don't know if he will. I don't know if Walt will get to Hank first, but then we've obviously got the wall between Walt and Hank of, of Walt being like, no, we don't kill him, he's family. But how much, how close does Hank get? How much does Hank rile Walt up before that changes from Walt's perspective? I wonder. Maybe we get to that point too. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, the future, the, the flash forwards show us that Heisenberg, Walt, is, is pushed away, right? And he's on the run, maybe? At least his family home is... is you know down in the dumps and all that so very interesting as well that Skylar's not in the flash forwards you know the family's not in the flash forwards we haven't seen much well that's the thing we haven't seen much from the flash forwards i suppose but i guess the flash forwards like imply that walt does get caught right that people that the public knows about him carol knows about him so yeah i guess but then does that mean hank gets him We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I guess I want Hank to find. I want. I guess what. I guess I want Hank to succeed. If only for Hank, because I really like his character. I think he's really been, you know, put through the ringer here as well. And I think he's been so uh, beautifully written to the point that yeah, I think the show's put me on his side at this point. Over Walt. Over Walt. All right, I'm going to leave it there for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, next week, I am going to be away for the week, so there won't be any Breaking Bad Friday, but uh, I will be back the week after. Apologies. In the meantime, I have started streaming on Twitch.tv. My link is down below if you'd like to uh, have a look. Uh, thank you, as always, to my lovely, lovely patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me in the way that you do. You guys are epic, mate. And other than that, I hope you have a great week. Two weeks. Apollo, sorry. I am so sorry. And I will see you soon.